So, the imperative and the affirmative we were saying, D tu, or just D, say. Say yes, D que si. Remember, uh, we add the word que, right? After D, after the verb. Diga, el. Digamos nosotros, for example. Digamos que si, let's say yes. Or digamos que no iremos, let's say that we won't go, right? Decid vosotros, you plural. Digan ustedes, again, you plural. And digan ellos, right? Now you will see in the, in the negative the two, uh, how there are two uh, pronouns that change their conjugation. That is this one and this one. That is tú and vosotros. You singular and you plural, okay? So look, I say, uh, D is say, or D que si, say yes. If I want to say, don't say yes, I will say, no digas que si. Di que si means say yes. No digas que si means don't say yes. Here we have, we have uh, no diga. You can see that here it will remain the same, unchanged, same as nosotros, unchanged, ustedes, unchanged, and ellos, unchanged. The only two that do change are tú and vosotros, okay? Let's see, negative. No digas, don't say. No diga, he, don't say, right? No digamos, let's not say. No digáis, you don't say, you plural. No digan, you don't say, and no digan, they don't say, or they better don't say, right? So, see uh, this difference between vosotros and uh, in the affirmative and the negative, I would say, vosotros decid que sí, and vosotros no digáis que sí. You say yes, or you don't say yes, right? So, this is the verb decir, which means to say and to tell. We will conjugate next time the verb dar, which is another very important verb in Spanish, which is a verb to give, right? It's very regular as well. So, thanks for watching. Remember, if you have any questions, you can send them to me uh, regarding conjugation or vocabulary or how to use some word or how to translate something. So, if you have doubts, you can you can send them via YouTube or on the blog, okay? So, have a nice day. Thanks for watching.